Hey YouTube, it's Bobby with KCA Ranch and Homestead. I'm going to do a quick down and dirty video on changing the oil on a 2022 Kawasaki Mule Pro FX. I didn't feel like hauling it to the dealership and paying a couple hundred bucks for them to do the first service. So I just decided to try it myself. So here's some of the things you're going to need if you don't want to pay out the ass for a Kawasaki filter, get you a Wix 51394. It's going to be just fine. The factory loves to put on uh, the filter so tight that a, uh, a uh, team of mules couldn't unloosen it. But get you one of these little filter wrenches that go on the end. Use a 3 8 socket. You can probably get it off pretty easy. We'll find out here shortly. You're going to need about two and a half quarts of oil. All my research recommended Lucas High Performance Motorcycle Oil 10W40, either full synthetic or semi synthetic. I couldn't find three quarts of full, so I got three quarts of semi. Probably need a little less than two and a half. So save that other half for uh, for your next oil change. Here's the Wix filter. I already got a head start, so you're gonna need a you gonna need to raise your bed up to get to the filter on this model. I'm not sure on the FX uh, T with the two seater. I think there's an access panel, but let's see if I can get down here and show you what we're doing. Gonna need a 14 millimeter socket. That's my drain plug. And what you're looking for is this oval looking hole under here. It's got a lip on it. All the other holes are round under here. This is the only oval hole right there. And it's the only one with a 14 millimeter nut in it. So that's the one you go to. It's basically in the center of the engine, but I'm zoomed in too much. Get your oil pan underneath that hole. Now usually on your first service, you're gonna have a lot of shavings and metal fragments from the engine breaking in. This one's got like 24 hours on it. It's supposed to do it around 20 hours. Uh, mine did have just a tad right there on the magnetic tip. And I cleaned it off real good, uh, took the little uh, washer thing off and nylon washer, cleaned it off real good. And uh, I'm just about ready to put that plug back in. And then we'll get started on the filter. Filter's going to be a little difficult to get to. I can't even show you right now, I'll show you in a minute, but it's going to be hell on a fat boy. I'll be back. I forgot to add, I like to open up the oil fill cap whenever I, before I unplug or unscrew the uh, drain plug. It just helps it vent and pushes that oil out really quick. Steady stream instead of dripping forever. Just something to consider. Alright, I wanted to show y'all where the filter is. Um, anyway. Got the seat popped off. It's just a couple little latches, or not latches, but little pressure points that you pop up. But I'm sure you know that if you have one of these. They did have a little fancy hidden storage thing there that I didn't know about. I thought it was the air filter. I'm such an idiot. Popped it off, and it's a waterproof, semi waterproof storage. So I got some ratchet straps and other stuff in there. Anyway. There's the filter, right there, and it's a longer reach than it looks um, for us short arm people. So I put my extension on, 3-8 socket ratchet with this filter wrench, and let me see if I can get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I couldn't get enough torque on it under here. It's just too far to reach. 
So I found a spot where I can. So I'm, I'm here underneath the, the raised bed. Come in right here to the front of the motor. You can see the socket handle there. See the end of the filter. I can reach in there. Kind of worm my hand around. And just get enough torque on this filter wrench. Unbelievable how tight these Chinese little hands made the filter. Alright, I got it mostly off. Let's see if I can get this thing off. Reach it. Dang it's hell being short. wasn't fun that well, was better than taking all this panel off all right I got the new filter ready to go uh, you know it's a paper filter full of layers of paper that'll soak up oil so I like to pour some oil in there and get it going soak up some uh, makes it quicker on topping off and getting it to the right lever level instead of waiting on this to soak it up later uh, also as everyone knows rub some fresh oil on that gasket make sure you keep everything clean and screw it on I'm gonna try to go hand tight and then maybe another quarter turn or so with the wrench I don't have a torque wrench or any of that stuff but I usually go hand tight and then a quarter turn past all right I'll be right back okay I can't remember where I was at but I got the oil filter back on um, here's the oil fill I used a little skinny funnel cleaned it out good and added two quarts so I have two quarts in addition to what I poured into the oil filter it's probably not going to be enough uh, the dipstick is actually in this battery compartment slash air filter compartment. Here's your air, air filter. It's got three locking clamps. I blew that out this morning with the air compressor. Uh, the battery sits down low. And the dipstick goes in there. I know you can't really see. Anyway, you can see the orange handle there. That's where the dipstick goes. It showed that it was about right, but I'm going to crank it up and drive it a little bit and let it sit. And I'll probably have to add a little more. I'll be back. Well, I took the mule for a ride, checked the oil. It was a little bit lower than I wanted, so I added a little more, let it sit. Uh, hard to see on this. I won't focus, but anyway, it's where it's supposed to be. Sorry for the blurry camera. It's in between the two dots. I'll check it again after I put a few more hours on it just to make sure. That's about it. I hope this video helped. It probably didn't since I was learning as I went. So now I'll just put the dipstick up, put the battery and air filter cover back on, close my bed, and get back to work on the property. Thanks for tuning in.